In January 2015, I got an email from a retired naval flight engineer. He's asked me to call him only Brian in the world public. He was in Antarctic Squadron Expedition missions. The whole crew saw a silver darting objects. They're going like to this peak in a group, to this peak in a group, to this peak in a group, and then they'd all take off. A South African researcher says he found what appeared to be the remains of a UFO crash. The object that he was looking at was between 12 and 15 meters in diameter. Could be the remains of a flying disc that had crashed. Believe in a universe, could there be a replication of life on Earth elsewhere? Of course I believe that. There's something out there in the quiet places where most people don't look. Creatures that shouldn't exist objects that defy gravity and puzzling events no one can explain. Join us as we look into the world of the unknown. The whole crew saw a whole bunch of silver darting objects. A squadron mission atop the Trans-Antarctic Mountain changed one crew's life completely. Just as the crew soared over the mountaintops, they noticed three slits suddenly emerging from nothing. And then the three blips began to dance in formation, as if seeing UFOs crystal clear wasn't shocking enough. In surprising sync, the trio whizzed from one spot to another, almost as if marking an imaginary triangle. During this, the three UFOs flashed brightly. Whether against the sun or from an emission of their own is something we've yet to learn. The three suddenly took off, and before the men realized it, the spectacle was over. They're going like to this peak in a group, to this peak in a group, to this peak in a group. Galactic Grab. A new chapter in the book of alien abduction. Calvin Parker, one of the two men who said they were abducted by aliens while fishing on the Pascagoula River, is continuing his story. In 2019, a Gulf Coast man surprised his own family when he revealed in an autobiography that he had been a victim of an alien abduction. Calvin Parker held out the truth for roughly 45 years. His life-changing story took place in 1973, went fishing with the then 42-year-old Charles Hickson. Just as the duo was heading back to the bank of Pascagoula River in Mississippi, they heard a loud whizzing, followed by flashing blue lights. And that's where everything fizzled out. The two men became stiff with fear. To their horror, three long creatures with slit-like mouths and crab-like pincers descended from the mysterious UFO and took the men aboard until their release after a few hours. The one that's in this book is legitimate. I guarantee you that. Sultans of Saucers We've gone through a preliminary data collection stage. And to summarize some of the things that we've learned, the current data collection efforts regarding UAPs are unsystematic. To all the folks who said they'd believe UFOs exist if NASA ever confirmed it, well, brace yourself, because this did happen. For decades, the Middle East was plagued by UFO sightings, mostly describing a mysterious orb that would zoom past houses and disappear. But no one had the proof to back it up until NASA released classified footage of the same orb making its way over a Middle Eastern desert. And this all happened less than a year ago. The footage lasts a short while, but it's enough to convince us that aliens are real. And worse, they're too friendly with our skies, which means you never know when you are being watched by one. I also emphasize to Congress that the only a very small percentage of UAP reports display signatures that could reasonably be described as anomalous. Cranium Conundrum. It was found that some of the skulls were actually elongated. They were almost like the head going backwards rather than upwards. Archaeologists have uncovered over 7,000 skulls from the hypogam in Malta. Does that represent the fact that they were doing head binding? They were pressed into shape when these people were babies? But scientific analysis has revealed they cannot belong to humans. It's all because of the structure of the skull itself. It lacks several elements you'd find in a human skull. Something exactly. exactly. here. Look at this. You're missing the, the fontanella suture. So most researchers are stumped about the discovery. Some theorize the skulls may belong to a human-alien hybrid species that may have lived on Earth thousands of years ago and succumbed to history. Considering the skulls don't match anything like we've seen before, 
but do resemble humans to some extent, it isn't wild to imagine this may actually be true. And so we're looking at possibly almost like a different type of human existing in ancient Malta. Spirited away. Our pilots have seen crazy things, but most would agree sometimes they just don't know what they're looking at. This is why one pilot began recording his encounter with supposedly three UFOs. Now, we don't know if it's three UFOs disguised like that or nine individual ones. Of course, countless assumed it was one of our fleet, but the pilot confirmed it wasn't a military air show and that he didn't even know what kind of aircraft it was. And then the entire fleet pulled an invisibility stunt. Now that's something we've never seen or even thought about before. So we'll just assume it's some sort of an alien fleet, which, although scary, is impressively organized. Millennia 2735, Under scrutiny. Sarah Delete and her family were hiking in Brazil's Ilo do Mel when they stopped to capture panoramic views of their surroundings. Two gigantic figures, presumably 10 feet tall, standing on top of the mountains. Their bodies resembled no other. Their heads were oddly shaped and their hands reached well below their knees. Delete confirmed there wasn't a secure way to reach the top of the mountain and even the strongest climbers couldn't go there because of its dense vegetation and steep climb. Well, if that's where they're staying, we know what place to cross off our bucket list. No Fly League. I want you to explain that to me. Did you know an alien invasion almost halted an NFL game? During the 1979 NFL match, players had to take a short break as two mysterious spinning objects appeared in the sky and began venturing close to the ground. Spectators immediately noticed it, leading to confusion-filled chaos. As players and spectators puzzled over the mysterious orbs, they suddenly ascended back into the sky. Decades later, the video is still causing many to scratch their heads. For one, it was the 70s, so things like drones hadn't existed yet. For another, neither did credible video alteration tools. So did we actually accidentally capture an alien visit? Well, it was the 70s. We've had crazier things happen. Why not this one? Now what is that? Sand Sleuth. Filmed by a couple of tourists in a desert in the US, the mysterious vehicle remained airborne for quite a few minutes. Naturally, ever since the video went viral, there have been a couple of crazy theories. Some claimed it was an aircraft, but not an extraterrestrial one. Many believe this may have been a spying aircraft from some major nation. But if that were true, we'd be hearing all about it on the news. Others suggested it may be CGI, but we haven't gotten any evidence about it. That leaves us with, well, alien visits. And if they're being blunt enough to show up like this, they're probably planning to reveal themselves soon. Mooney Marauders. Turns out aliens aren't only visiting Earth, they've got their eyes on our moon too. This surprising footage was captured just recently in January when a mysterious flying object soared over a crater on the moon. Although you could easily argue it's a satellite, we've yet to see NASA bring out one that looks like this. Plus, this was captured by one of our satellites orbiting the moon, so we know it's not us for sure. Some people joked it was aliens trying their luck at hang gliding, but if we get serious, it's certainly something concerning. Dune Digits In 2016, out in the barren Peruvian desert, one man's finding turned into one of the biggest mysteries. This flattened, bony appendage was recovered from thick dunes, almost as if left there centuries ago. Since then, it has gone through multiple inspections, but its identity remains a mystery. The hand-like appendage doesn't belong to any species living on Earth. And before you go on claiming it's probably fake or just a plastered prop, scientific analysis has denounced these claims, revealing they've found parts of the flesh and skin. Now, the biggest question is, is if it is an alien hand, where are the aliens? Did they visit Earth some time ago and leave before we noticed? Did they stay on Earth and are living with us? 
cacti crashers. 14 years ago, New Mexican residents woke up with a loud bang near the white sands. When locals went to investigate, they couldn't find anything and assumed it was just a faulty transformer. But that's when one anonymous witness revealed this footage, proving it had been a UFO crash. When authorities got wind of the situation, they immediately stepped in and thoroughly explored the desert, but they claim they found nothing. Behind Boulders In 2018, state biologists flying over Utah spotted a glinting object erected in the middle of nowhere. The metal monolith had appeared out of nowhere. And although researchers quickly denounced alien visits, the mysterious appearance and the immense weight of the monolith didn't sway the public. That's when countless people flocked to the area in hopes of investigating the monolith for themselves. During one such encounter, two explorers accidentally captured an alien. Just focus on the back here. Even if you argue it's an animal, the creature is clearly unlike anything we've seen before. The exploring duo only noticed when they were reviewing their video. They went back the next day, but couldn't find any clues about the alien. Guess who just drove 15 hours just to find out the monolith's not even here anymore? Stone Cold Secrets Explorers opened a cave in Peru that had been closed for centuries, and when they ventured inside, they found unique etchings on the walls, mysterious objects, and statues of cryptid, humanoid beings. At first, they theorized the cave may have been used by ancient tribes, but since it was blocked off and required modern equipment to drill through, the chances of it being a tribal site are quite low. The cryptid statues, though, look slightly human. They had unique features like an elongated skull, tattooed with mysterious engravings that have yet to be translated. They also found a dust-covered book with detailed drawings of alien beings and an untranslated script. Heat Wave Hover This was captured just recently over Arizona, when one resident noticed two glints in the sky and immediately knew something was up. There's, there's two! Smartly, he took cover under some bushes to ensure he'd remain out of sight, and that's how he was able to get a closer look. You can see how slowly the UFO descends, almost as if it's planning to park. But the minute it senses something's off, it shoots off into the sky. That speed is unfathomable. Oh! The Mummy Ship This UFO was filmed a month ago in the western desert in Egypt. And yes, it's quite terrifying to see one this close and with such clarity. The scariest part is that the UFO wasn't just standing there. Although it's quite blurry, you can make out different creatures moving inside it. It's either an alien abduction in action or aliens returning to their spaceship after spending a good few years on Earth. Even onlookers were shocked and were terrified of the entire ordeal. Peek a predator. This was filmed by local hiking through close to Mexico's mountain ranges. And although you have to zoom in a bit to see it, the fact that this giant is visible clear as day is enough to give you nightmares. The Mexico giant has been a mystery ever since this video went viral. Countless monster hunters and researchers explored every nook and cranny but being able to get inside a cave like that is pretty impossible because of the mountain's steepness. The giant has been spotted occasionally, but never enough to be captured. So this is pretty terrifying proof. Holy Aura This happened just a few months ago in Southeast Asia, when multiple sightings of an alleged messiah glowing in the air made countless fear for their lives. Since the floating figure glowed ominously, several claimed it was a sign of the end of times. A few skeptical individuals claimed it was a hologram. But one that was seen across nations? Yeah, right. Whatever or whoever this is, let's just hope they come in peace. Meowshins Our pets can always sense things we can't see. So when this man's cat suddenly freaked out, he knew he had to calm it down. But the minute he picked up his cat, the poor feline started hissing. And there you go, we can see why. Although, whatever it is only appears for a few seconds, it's enough to give us all a scare. But by the time he noticed, the mysterious alien had vanished into thin air. 
Now, you may think a few seconds aren't frightening enough, but just think about it. How long was the alien keeping an eye on him? And what was its purpose? Gawk and Bolt So many people wish to catch aliens, but if they do, their souls tremble and they can barely breathe. This is exactly what happened to one adventurer who went searching for mysterious beings and hardly made it back home after he encountered one. The alien was tall and lanky with an oblong face. Although we can't see it clearly, the man swore the alien's eyes were shaped like slits and would turn around like an owl's. It seems the alien, or whatever this creature is, didn't realize it was being filmed. But the minute it crossed the area, the man ran back home and swore off any such future adventures. Stalk in the Park If you ever want to take a walk in the middle of a forest at night, it's best to stay home because you never know what could be following you. Especially if it's a creature with glowing red eyes and an unusually flattened head. The mysterious cryptid was captured for just a few seconds, but the sight is startling enough to keep you up for days. Sadly, we don't know where this was filmed since whoever handled the camera refused to give out his location. But at least we've got pretty convincing proof. Buzzed Out Seeing something fly over a defense base is never a good experience, especially if the mysterious object casually hovered over an RAF base and remained undetected for a long time. This happened five years ago and has since stumped countless people because no matter what way we go about it, we just can't identify what it is. The mysterious UFO spun in circles for a while over the base and then disappeared into thin air. Although this particular UFO was spotted in High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire, multiple people across Europe reported seeing it too. Is it just a big coincidence? Or are aliens finally becoming comfortable enough to come out in the open? Land down, up? Although it initially looked like a cloud, whatever this cryptic thing is, is not from our world. The mysterious glowing object appeared out of thin air in Australia. And although this happened a few months ago, most residents claim they've seen this thing at least a couple of times after this too. If we focus on the object itself, although it glows, it seems to be a tangible entity of some sort. So many people believe it was a type of angel, while others are sure it's part of a UFO. The entire thing is pretty scary and incredible, but boy, knowing this happened thousands and thousands of miles away is pretty relieving. Mexi Glow Nothing to see here, just a UFO casually floating over New Mexico. You'd argue it's just a balloon, but the winds would have flown it back home. The way this UFO remains still while sauntering over the windy cliffs is enough to convince us. The craziest thing is, when this video was uploaded, several commenters revealed they'd seen the UFO too. Not only on the 110 near Deming, but in surrounding areas as well. Well, UFO sightings are becoming more common day by day, but that doesn't make them any less unsettling. Cosmic Coil You wouldn't think finding a metallic spiral like this would be that important, but wait till you find out what it is. This unique object was picked up after a mysterious flying object crashed into the Russian mountains. But when recovery teams explored the site, they found nothing but bits and pieces of an alien craft. This particular spiral object is fashioned from molybdenum and tungsten, which, although are found on Earth, aren't used in any crafts in Russia. And that's not all. Researchers analyzed it further and suggested it may date back centuries, which means we might be looking at legit proof of alien visits before we even knew about them. Hello from the other side. In January 2021, 911 phone operators in Hawaii were flooded with complaints and concerns about a mysterious bright blue object seamlessly hovering in the sky. Although operators initially assumed they were being pranked, when the number of calls became too overwhelming, they knew it was something serious. The glowing UFO was initially spotted over neighborhoods, but it flew to the shore, scaring beachgoers. Just as responders reached the scene, the blue UFO suddenly collapsed into the sea, vanishing from sight. Naturally, authorities immediately headed to the ocean and continued searching the next day, but they found nothing. 
Did the UFO really crash? Or maybe it zapped through a doorway to another dimension? Texas Rodeo. It's not like flying no, no, straight. No. It's yeah. like moving. Well, that thing's, that's a, that's a UFO for sure. If there's one place in the U.S. that frequently encounters the weird and extraordinary, it's Texas. And one Spicewood residence video is proof. Michael Daniels was hanging out with his friends when they noticed five shining orbs in the sky. Initially assuming it was a fleet of local planes, the group almost stopped recording. But then, two of them sped to the side and they realized they were looking at something out of this world. The five UFOs kept moving in a weird formation while their ominous green glow occasionally peered through the clouds. The fleet suddenly disappeared into the darkness and it since remained a big mystery. Oh, oh whoa, 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 what is that? Cosmic Capture. Looks like the end of the world. Is this what the end of the world looks like? This was captured just a few days ago in the U.S., and although some people claimed it may be sunbeams, their intensity says otherwise. The mysterious glowing lights also prompted a few to joke about the situation. Some claimed it was angels shining the spotlight on the Earth, while others said it could be the light from an impending alien abduction. Whatever it is, if it's really signaling doom, I hope it's as beautiful as it looks. Flying Nimbus Passengers aboard a flight cruising over the Blidu Desert in Poland noticed something mysterious emerge from the clouds. The cryptic object seemed to be floating in the air, prompting most passengers to believe they were seeing a UFO in action. One eagle-eyed passenger noticed the object wasn't just floating in the sky, it seemed to be walking over the clouds. And if science has taught us anything, we know clouds cannot hold weight. So is this some gravity-defying alien? Or maybe the plane accidentally entered some secret dimension where stable clouds and cryptid organisms exist? Well, whatever it is, better stay away from us. Nazca's Worst Nightmare Filmed by a couple of raiders, these alien mummies were captured in the Nazca Caves in Peru and have an eerie resemblance to creatures from sci-fi films. Since their discovery, many have ventured into the caves, only to find traces of their existence seemingly erased. UFO enthusiast Jamie Mousen brought these sightings to light, suggesting that although the beings appeared motionless, subtle movements in their limbs hinted they might be alive, cleverly avoiding detection by intruders. Mousen even did a DNA test to prove they're not from our world. But now with the place empty, it leaves us wondering, where did these aliens go? Or how did they get to Earth in the first place? Starshian Nothing to see here, just a couple of UFOs making their way casually over a Louisiana neighborhood. Initially, neighbors believed they were seeing the Starlink satellite constellation, but its movements made most believe otherwise. Although this was filmed in September 2023, residents claim they keep seeing it occasionally, always hovering over their houses and disappearing the minute they try to capture it on camera. So we're very lucky we've got our hands on this video. But any idea what this could be? The Glow Zone You see this over your house. The only thing left to do is grab your prayer beads. This took place just a month ago in the Gulch area in Nashville. And although some have come up with a few resounding theories, nothing matches the descriptions. This isn't ice crystals because of the temperature at that time. And it's also not a reflection of surrounding buildings. The object even had glowing red lights suggesting it was some sort of an aircraft, but it's not ours. Tentacled Craft This was captured on a U.S. military base in Iraq in 2018, and although it's been a couple of years since, we still have no idea where this jellyfish UFO came from, or what it even was. 
Now, I know some of you may argue it's just some random drone or maybe a smaller aircraft, but here's the craziest part. This UFO flew over a military base and went undetected. It was only noticed when the security footage was being reviewed. If you're a fan of munitions and aircraft, you know it's nearly impossible to do that. The jellyfish UFO submerged in the water, but it wasn't noticed by the Navy either. Now that's really creepy. Jello. Here's an interesting shot of the infamous jellyfish UFO, but this time all the way in the UK. That's continents away from Iraq. The UFO remained airborne for quite some time, and just as the video was coming to an end, the elusive object began descending as if it was finally going to land. Of course, residents were quite worried about the sight since the UFO's size and movement didn't match a balloon or a local aircraft. And to make matters worse, authorities haven't peeped a word. That means they have no idea what it was or that it even appeared, or it's something serious they're hiding. Well, that's the scariest two possibilities. Workers' Woes A UK resident filmed this early morning while heading to work, and honestly, it's quite intimidating. What initially began as a somewhat light show turned into a communication attempt of some sort. The UFO, initially cruising over the sky, suddenly began emitting weird lights, as if it was signaling to something or someone close by. Some suggested it might have been a plane, but with the way it was moving and yet remained over a specific area, it's safe to assume this wasn't something from Earth. Oof, I would have taken the whole day off if this had happened to me. Sneak peek. Remember when we tried to raid Area 51? Although it failed, some were able to sneak into the facility, and the evidence they've pulled is pretty shocking. This was filmed inside the facility by one of the raiders, who has kept his identity a secret in fear of being apprehended. Accordingly, he found himself in a dark corner in the facility where pitch darkness prevented him from finding his way out. And that's when he encountered an actual alien. One that curiously peered out from the door and vanished seconds later. The man did find his way out, but the experience terrified him so much that he never dared to talk about it again. Well, if these aliens truly are living among us, it's time we start preparing for the inevitable. Squatter's Dilemma Imagine the fright an organ man Thomas Collins got in 2011 when he finally decided to investigate a flurry of sounds that had been bothering him for a few days. Collins suspected the sounds were coming from his basement, but assumed it was just a rodent, until he convinced a friend to hop down there. And let's just say, what they found was truly unsettling. Oh, shoot, no! shoot, shoot. Perfectly on cue, like a horror movie, the duo heard a slight movement and looked up, only to find a sickly white creature looking back at them. That's when they ran out. Collins claimed he later had his basement checked, but nothing came of it. Well, if I've got aliens living in my basement, they better start paying rent. Try and gullible. A couple of years ago, locals in a remote part of the US swore they'd seen some sort of cryptic aircraft, one oddly shaped like a Dorito, with glowing orbs from its base. No one believed them, until fast forward to 2023, and an anonymous source released footage of that exact aircraft. The triangular aircraft suddenly emitted a bright flash of light and disappeared into nothingness. Now, since this video evidence was publicized, there have been countless theories, but two sticks out the most. According to the first one, this is an extraterrestrial aircraft that descended to Earth for a short routine inspection. But the second group firmly believes this is a mysterious spy aircraft developed by the military, and one that supposedly doesn't exist. Don't know what team you're rooting for, but both sound pretty suspicious. Galactic Shuffle
things just took a turn for the unbelievable. Back in 2020 in Houston, homeowner Kristen Meyer recorded a fleet of mysterious lights cruising over the sky at night. Before you shift the blame to the Air Force, the time and place of the mysterious sighting don't match any movements. But let's move on. If it really is an alien fleet, does this mean we get frequent visits but rarely notice it because of the dark? Or worse, have aliens been keeping an eye on us all this time, but we're too oblivious to that? Atacama Mummy In 2003, explorers digging through the Chilean Atacama Desert discovered a tiny six-inch long humanoid skeleton. Naturally, when this finding was publicized, many joked it was an artist's project. But in 2018, a thorough analysis of the Atacama cryptid revealed it was actually a skeleton and one with possible mutations. Since the skeleton couldn't be traced back to pure human origins, scientists theorize it may be the skeleton of a human-alien hybrid, once again suggesting that ancient humans may have had relationships with aliens and that they later succumbed to life while their extraterrestrial partners flew back home. Nowhere to go Have you ever wondered if our pilots have encountered UFOs? After all, they spend a major portion of their lives soaring the skies. Surely, seeing something suspicious wouldn't be so out of the ordinary? And here's one crazy proof, captured by an F-22 pilot. The cartoonishly saucer-shaped UFO is staking the skies. Even the pilot is a little surprised. Maybe with all the blurry encounters, one this crystal clear really threw him off. It's possible the UFO was actively tracking the F-22. It may be a spy. But then again, what's the fun in that? It's probably a sign of an alien invasion. It's time for today's open discussion. This is the creepiest thing you'll ever see. The elusive Bigfoot, which has remained hidden from the public's eye for so long, finally being spotted making its way across the Colorado desert. The creature only appears for a few short seconds, but it's enough to convince us. Some did say it might be an extraterrestrial or human wearing a fursuit, purposely hiding in the rough vegetation to prank people, but this creature is at least 10 feet tall. If there was someone that tall, they'd be in the NBA by now. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.